Are you curious where you can find the best fried clams north of Boston? That's exactly what I'll be discussing with you today. We're the best whole belly fried clams north of Boston. They're on the North Shore, of course, near the coast. You will need to wait till the end of this video to know which restaurant rates us the best. The most famous clams are from Ipswich, known as the home of the fried clam, and in competition with Essex, because they claim the same thing. So we'll start with Ipswich. Before we start in Ipswich, I just want to mention that every single one of the restaurants we're going to talk about today are located on Route 133, except for one, and that's the last restaurant. In Ipswich, there's two great places to get clams. Restaurant number one, Ipswich Clam Bake, a year-round restaurant located at 196 High Street. It's a casual, classic, counter-service restaurant. The food comes in little cardboard boxes. Restaurant number two, Famous Clam Box, a seasonal restaurant right up the street from the Ipswich Clam Bake at 246 High Street. This restaurant too is a casual classic counter service restaurant with outside picnic tables and inside seating. If you drive past this restaurant in the middle of the summer, you'll find a line going around the building. From Ipswich, we're going to move on down to Essex. There are four really excellent restaurants in Essex. Restaurant number one, the Village Restaurant, located at 55 Main Street. It's a 200 seat casual restaurant with a full bar. They serve a mean plate of fried clams. However, they have a very extensive menu and bring your landlubber friends with you because they'll be able to find something to eat as well. Let's not forget the Village Restaurant is open all year long. Restaurant number two, Woodman's of Essex, open all year long. Located at 119 Main Street. Woodman's is a counter serve setup as well. You bring your meal to your table and they have picnic style tables inside the restaurant. In the summertime, they actually cook lobsters outside and the people line up 50 to 70 deep and they take their lobsters around the back and they eat them under the covered tent at the picnic tables. Restaurant number three, Essex Seafood. Essex Seafood actually looks like a house. It is, somebody lives there. But in the back of the house, there's a restaurant and a seafood store. Essex Seafood is open all year long. Don't worry, you won't miss it. You won't drive by. There's a very big sign and a flag. Restaurant number four, J.T. Farnham's. J.T. Farnham's is located at 88 Eastern Avenue. J.T. Farnham's is a seasonal restaurant. J.T. Farnham's has by far the most beautiful location. It's right on the Essex River. In the summer, we actually drive our boat right up to the restaurant and go and get seafood and take it back out and eat on the boat. However, inside the restaurant, it is counter service. And it's called an old school seafood shack. Once again, we're going to drive down 133 to Gloucester. There are two excellent restaurants in Gloucester. Restaurant number one, The Causeway. The Causeway is located at 78 Essex Avenue. Described as a snug marine themed standby. Online, it's labeled as an Italian restaurant. Not. The Causeway is open all year long and there's hardly ever an empty table. Maybe on an off hour you might find one. This causeway serves the largest portion of fried clams. You'll have to bring someone to help you eat it or plan on bringing it home. Restaurant number two, Lobster Land. This is the only restaurant that's located off of 128, exit 12. It's a seasonal restaurant. Described as a seasonal mainstay, of course. This is a family friendly restaurant with a comfortable atmosphere and a full bar. Let me tell you, you can go to any restaurant north of Boston and you're gonna find yourself awesome fried clams. And you wanna know why? They're all very local and very fresh. As a matter of fact, in Ipswich, there are 55 clam flats. In Gloucester, there's 56 clam flats. And in Essex, there's 57 clam flats. Another thing you should know, all the restaurants I mentioned, there are absolutely no prices on the clams. It's market value. It's market value for two reasons. One is the weather. You know, we have a lot of snow up here, frozen ground. The clamors need to get out there and get the lobsters. Sometimes that's a little difficult. In the spring, summer, and fall, there's a lot of rain. And with the rains come the red tides. Just like everything else, supply and demand, and sometimes the supply of clams just dwindles. Clamming is back-breaking work. Very difficult work, too. Let me see you dig clams with a pitchfork-style shovel and not break any of the shell. 
Also, just imagine this, being out there in the middle of July with all those green heads. Ouch! Finally, now, where's the best place to get clams? The number one place is the Causeway in Gloucester. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, and ring the bell if you want to learn more about the North Shore of Boston. If you think you want to live in Gloucester, Ipswich, or Essex, click below and I'll send you a list of homes. I'm Kathleen with the Militello team, a realtor with Jay Barrett & Company. Until the next time.